Hi YouTubers, this is Tim Gurney from Excalibur IT. Just going to show you today how to create a system image on Windows 7 Professional. Um, it's really important that these days when you buy a PC that you create a system image onto a, an external hard drive. The um, reason being is that for the, for the most part when you buy a new PC um, they don't actually give you any, any recovery media these days. You'll, you'll just have a, uh, a recovery partition on the disk. Now, if that disk fails, you have no way back short of buying some recovery media from, um, from the supplier again. So, what we're going to do today, just uh, take you through the steps on how to create that system image. Um, I've just plugged in my external hard drive, so that'll pop up in a second. Maybe. Okay, there we go. So, we're not going to bother with opening the files for now, because there's nothing on the disk. I'll just close that down. Alright, so we'll go and click on the Start menu and go to Control Panel. Okay, lots of useful options in here, but we're after Backup and Restore. Okay, and what we want to do is create a system image. So we'll go into Create System Image. And what it'll do, it'll look to see whether you have any other internal hard drives to use or whether you've got some external drives. Here it's found my external drive. Um, so that's what we're going to go with. You can back up to DVDs, but it'll probably take you quite a few DVDs and it's, it's not really worth the, the effort doing that. Um, so once we're ready, we're happy that we're going to put it onto that disk. We say next. Okay. Tells you which drives it's going to back up. Now, by default, it will only back up the Windows system drive, but it will back up any applications and any other information that you have on that disk. So it is really a snapshot of the disk at the time of the backup. Um, in this case, this is a completely new install of Windows 7, so it's not going to take an awful lot of uh, space. And I'm just going to start the backup. Okay. Now this dialog will sit here for, for a while whilst it goes off and creates that. Um, so what I might do, I'll, uh, I'll pop the video on hold and I'll come back to you uh, when it's finished recording. Alright, so we're just coming towards the end of this backup cycle now. Um, once that's finished, I will... Uh, here you go. So it's created the actual... Um, system image onto my external disk which we'll go and have a look at in a moment um, and you're now given an option of whether you want to create a repair disk now again if you haven't got recovery media with your machine I would definitely suggest that you do this um, so you just need a blank um, DVD stick it in your, your DVD drive and you go ahead and say yes now in my case um, I actually don't need one I have got a, a system recovery disk already um, so I'm not going to do this for now um, and that will be complete. So the backup's done. Let's just close that, and I'll just show you what it's created on the on the external drive. So, in this case, you'll see there's, it's not taken an awful lot of room because, as I said that at the start, this is a, a new install of Windows. There's no applications or data on there, so it doesn't take very long. Um, but what it has created on this folder is a Windows image backup um, folder. So. Basically, you just want to stay, steer clear of that. You can still use the rest of your um, external hard drive, but just leave that that folder to its own devices, and you use that solely. You know, in the case that your hard drive fails, um, either you can get a technician to put a new hard disk in for you, or you can do it yourself if you feel confident doing that. Um, and then you basically put your recovery CD into the drive, boot it up, attach your external USB drive and you can recover it from um, this Windows image backup and it'll take you back to the point in time of doing that image. Anyway, I hope this has been useful. Um, if you've enjoyed it, give us a, give us a like on Facebook if you can or, or just on the, uh, the YouTube video itself. Um, and thanks for your time.